Welcome back to the channel. This is the Pro Kung Geek, and in today's video, we got us. We have an example from one of our subscribers that we're gonna be doing so that you get a hang of how to use the Snap Design module in Pro Kung. Okay, so without wasting too much time, let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is the example we have it on the screen. It says a slab in an office building measuring 5 meters and 7.5 meters is simply supported at the edges with no provision to resist torsion at the corners or to hold the corners down. And then it goes on to say the slab is assumed to be initially 175 meters thick, which I assume is 175 millimeters thick. The total dead load including self weight screed finishes, partitions, services, etc, etc is 8 kN per square meter. The imposed load is 3 kN per square meter. Design the slab using grade 25 concrete and grade 5 concrete and grade 460 reinforcement. Including the design calculations, the moment reinforcement for both the short span and long span. Bending reinforcement, shear, deflection, and anchorage, and distribution of steel and spacing. Okay, so as you've seen in the question, it says for both short span and long span. So we're gonna assume this is gonna be a two way spanning slab. And what I did is I just went ahead and highlighted the most important things in this question. The first one being that we have a 5 meter by 7.5 meter slab. It's 175 millimeters thick. The total dead load is 8 kilonewtons per square meter. The imposed load is 3 kilonewtons per square meter. And the slab grade we need for the concrete is 25 and the reinforcement is 460. So all the other things that the question asks you to come up with, those are the calculations that you need for your manual calculations. But what we need broken is the main reinforcement and obviously the one for shear. So that is what we're going to be looking at. And without wasting too much time, let's just jump right into Procon. So obviously you have to open your Procon. The next thing that you do is go to concrete and under concrete, go to the nice green little button code slab and click on it. All right, as you can see, we have it on the screen. Nice clean and prim and proper this is good for us now the next thing that we need to do is just enter in the input so we have five for the short span and it's 7.5 for ly the slab depth is 175 and the depth of steel or the effective depth of your steel in the x direction this is going to be 141 and for the y direction this is going to be 135 what we assumed is we assumed a cover of 20 millimeters based on a five, one hour for a building that's less than 18 meters and we also assumed the cover to the lengths as we said 20 millimeters and uh, 8 millimeter dial lengths and 12 millimeter diameter bars for your reinforcement as for the poison ratio all you need to do is just go 0.2 and then the fc you just follow along with me just go to 25 then the strength of the steel we were told we need to use 460 so we're going to be using 460 then for the grade of your concrete you're going to go for 24.5 self weight factor you're going to go with 1.4 and then for the time factor we need for five years or more so we're going to go with two and we're good to go now for the fixity of the edges we were told the slab is um what did they say they said the slab is simply supported at the edges with no provision to resist torsion at the corners or to hold the corners down so in other terms rotation is a terms rotation is allowable but displacement is not we see we have beams or walls underneath it so the only thing that we have to do is to tick displacement and that's already done for us so let's move to the next thing which is section three and there we're going to have two load cases load case one and load case two so load case one is going to be 1.4 and then we're going to put eight because that's what we were told then the next load case is going to be the dead load plus the live load in this case we're going to put an extra 1.6 and then we add a three and we are good to go the next thing you want to do is just specify that you definitely need load case one and two in your envelope and as for the title come on let's just call this the subscriber slab and we good to go so once that is done the next thing that we just need to do is click on moments and let this thing analyze and design the slab for us 
as you see it actually analyzed and designed the slab board. So now what we diagrams and all we need to do when we get pro cone in this case, just know the maximum values that you have for each direction. That is the top in the X, top in the Y, top bottom in the X and bottom in the Y. And the other thing is you want to change between your load cases so you know which one is the most or the serious case or the worst case. And in this case, load case two as expected is the worst case. So all you need to do is just make sure you note all these things at the maximum moments. This is what's going to be our handy for us when we start detailing the tab in pad. So the maximum moment that we need, need to take care of is at the bottom, which is 44.7. The next thing after doing that, all you need to do is now go to deflections. This gives you the short and long term deflections for your snap. In this case, the short term deflections is, as you can see on the screen, let me just try and zoom that a little bit, six millimeters. As you can zoom out, it's telling you load case two, the maximum is six millimeters. Our slab is five meters and 7.5 in the short direction. So five, 5,000 millimeters divided by 250, that gives you, I think 20 so hours deflections is nice. We're not gonna look at the long term deflections because this program uses ACI and we're using BS so it doesn't work out so you might have to verify that using manual calculations we can do that in another video as well the next thing that you have is go to reinforcement this gives you the maximum or the minimum reinforcement you need in million square millimeters per meter for every section so the maximum value of reinforcement that you need is forcement that you need is 438 but this is actually the minimum uh, reinforcement that you need what it says by maximum is telling you the point which needs the maximum reinforcement for example if we look at the bottom in the x direction we see that we need 817 that is the maximum reinforcement this direction needs or the maximum value it was able to come up with uh so as you know when you provide steel you can it doesn't matter all you need to do is you need to provide more steel than that is actually required or is it comes out to a logic where it's either equal to or greater than so in this case at the middle of the slab you cannot provide anything that's less than 817 but you can provide anything that's 817 and above so uh, as in previous what i told you the best thing that you want to do with this is just not the maximum values and you're good to go now the next thing that you need to go to is the calculation sheets the calculation sheets as you already know these are just uh, a way to provide you with a summary of the calculations if you want to zoom in you can just magnify and zoom in gives you a summary of the input data the load cases sketch of the lab and then it provides you with the moments at every position and also the reinforcement needed at every position okay once that is done the next but not least you're gonna go to the bending schedule and when you come here the other thing that i want you to do is change this to subscriber slab because we're going to change this in pads we're going to customize our layout because when you look at the screen please note default reinforcement should be checked and adjusted to suit for suitability and layout so one thing i'll tell you is that procon is a computer so the reinforcement it provides you and this is not the optimum re reinforcement that we need for a slab so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna save and generate this bending schedule so after changing the name we're also gonna change the first bar mark to one language is gonna cover e and as you can see procon automatically deduced that our cover needs to be 20 millimeters the bar bonding length i want you to put this to 55 and the drawing scale one is to 50 that's okay with me and left edge bar y25 don't change anything else all you want to do now is just come down to generate and wait for it as it does what it does sometimes it might give you a little thingy thingy but now nah, it's okay like that once it does that there's okay all you have to do is click on okay and your bar mark all your banish you has been generated so the reason why i want us to customize this bars in pad so that we detail the slab differently is because i think and i feel this uh, procon has given us too much steel 31 y 12 this is just too costly non-economical i'm just going to provide a more economical design using the maximum values of moment and the reinforcement that we got in the previous sections so there you have it ladies and gentlemen this was a quick way of designing analyzing and designing your slab using the slab design module in program 
thank you to our subscriber for providing us with that example so if this is your first time please <coughs> subscribe to the channel and if you're coming back uh, hit the subscribe button hit the like button please leave some likes on this video because this is how amazing content comes to you next time so hit the notifications button subscribe share and just just show me some love in the comment box tell me what you want me to do and in the next video we're going to be customizing the reinforcement and detailing this lab in pads so until next time just watch out and stay safe